Hi guys, I am at Dahlia Gardens Apartments and I must say again, I am so impressed. I'm with Jaja Mugongo who's the developer who uh, put this together and she's the managing director of Come Homes, that's a development uh, company. So I want to know Jaja, if you could do this all over again, and this I mean just the whole business of construction, um, if you could start all over again mm -hmm. uh, with regard to your investments, would how would you do it any different? Or you're happy with what you've done? Or is there anything that you feel, if I could do this again, I would do this differently? Um, yes, I would. And um, I'm actually currently doing it differently now. My first project, the one I did in Lavington, Unfortunately, no one was there to advise me on marketing. What do you have in Lavington? Me. Maybe you can start Okay, in. I have villas in Lavington, uh, four bedroom townhouses, standalone, that were done uh, about four years back. This okay. is the project I began when I was flying. Okay. So when I was doing that project, there was no one to advise me on, on the marketing aspect of it. So I did the houses and I felt, okay, these are beautiful, these are nice, people will like them. I put an ad in the paper when they were complete and I sat back waiting for a mad rush, which did not happen. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, so when you were constructing and before, yes. you hadn't marketed them? No, not at all. Oh, wow. Yes, not at all. You were confident you were doing a really good yes. job and, and surely thought, they will sell themselves. So long as I, you know, I, I give people good quality, <laughs> I'm good to go. Yeah. But shock on me, they were done. And I felt, okay, let me put a sign for sale. So I put a sign for sale, and then I went to the press and I put an ad. Nobody came. And that's when I realized, okay, I should have done this differently. So currently with this project, I was wiser. I began marketing. As soon as my designs were ready, I did off-plan marketing. Okay. Yes. So even before my groundbreaking, I was out marketing and telling people I have this that's coming up, you know, and I had beautiful pictures, nice renders, which I could sell the project with. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. I also did have... Um, Another one. Yes. yes. What else? <laughs> Another one was... Um, well, this one is just a tip I would also give to the people is stick to your budget. Okay. Yeah. That's very important. And more so when you're doing your own personal home, you know, your dream house, we tend to, we tend to go beyond the budget because you're so excited. You, you, you want what's perfect, you know. When you're shopping, you're always looking like, okay, there's a nice pair of shoes, a nice dress, how much is it? Maybe I can squeeze myself. But when constructing, especially constructing your own home, it is key to stick within your budget. Okay. Yeah. I got carried away when we were doing one of our houses and I went beyond the budget. And I saw these beautiful lights. I thought, oh wow, these are nice. I could do with that. Oh, that's a nice bed. Oh, this is beautiful. You know, I kept changing the design. Okay. And that ended up going beyond our budget. What was the impact of that for you? Well, the impact on that was we now had to redirect our finances towards our mortgage because we are taking up a facility for that. Okay. So we had to redirect our finances from other channels to all come into this one mortgage that was pressing. And that in turn had to stop our other projects you know other things that we were doing as a family we had to come to a standstill because this was you know urgent it was pressing and needed to be taken care of yes did that affect the relationships in, in the home the things that you were able to do in terms of other extra you know enjoying enjoyment yes it did um, it didn't affect the relationship but it did affect um other things you know we couldn't go for holidays as often as we wanted to because you know every time you had to go on a holiday you're thinking all right, I could do this holiday or I could wait and do it next time and, you know, redirect that money towards a mortgage. So it kind of does restrict you in a way. Yeah. Yes, yeah. so it did, but, um, you know, you learn from it. Yeah. So now, moving on, I know, next time, this is a budget. This is what we've drawn. This is what we're going to do. Stick to, to the budget. That. Yes. Wow, fantastic. Those yeah. are great tips. Um, so stick to your budget. And what was the first one? Uh, marketing. Marketing, 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 marketing. Oh, that was yes. so funny. And you have to market. You must market beforehand. Don't wait at tea. This no. is a fantastic project. There's so many no, other no, projects no. that no. are competing yes. with yours. Yes, quite a um, number. And so you have to actually sell. 
uh, which is something that if you're not a salesperson or naturally a salesperson, you don't actually think about. Yes, yeah. you have to do that. Well, I'm not a salesperson, so you need to get the sales team to come and do that work for you. But you have to put that in mind. You have to get them from the word go. Yeah. Another thing is people always wonder why should I invest? Why should I set aside so much for investing? You know, I mean for sorry, for marketing. Why should I set, set aside so much? Let me first finish, let me do the construction, then I can see what's left and market. But you forget if you've taken up a, a, a mortgage with a bank, the minute you're done, the bank will be knocking on your door. Where's your money? You're not gonna tell the bank at that point, I haven't sold, you know. That's none of their business. Yeah. So you need to set aside, as you're planning yourself, as you're budgeting, set aside a certain amount just for marketing. So that as a construction is going on, people are buying. Once you're complete, at least you've sold out uh, some units so you can now take that back to yeah. the bank. Yeah. Yes. Before I let you go, Jaja, uh -huh. um, just remind me, you have two and three bedroom apartments? Yes, I have okay. two bedroom apartments mm -hmm. that are sit on seven floors. But don't worry about that, you don't have to walk. We have an elevator Ish. and we also have uh, five floors yeah. of three bedroom apartments. Five floors of three bedroom apartments. Yes. How much, if I want a three bedroom or two bedroom, what are the difference in prices? Okay, the three bedroom apartment is going for 8.5 million. Okay. And the two bedroom apartment is 7.5 million. The two bedroom is 7.5? Yes. And the three bedroom is? is 8.5. We've walked around the three bedroom. Is, in terms of the space other than the extra room, is it very different in, in the setup for the two bedroom? No, it's similar, only that it's two bedroom, but I must mention that both of them, the master is in suite. Oh, yes. okay, yes, fantastic. And the other one, the two bedroom also has an extra bathroom. Just yes, like we it saw. does, yes. Okay. Over and above the master being in suite, there's also an extra bathroom. So you can say each room gets its own bathroom. I have one other thing. I know you've done the first project and you've not finished all of them. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious, being a mother, do you have a playground for kids? Yes, we do. As a matter of fact, we do. We have four blocks okay. and in between two blocks is where we have the playground. So you with your kids are well sorted. Okay. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. Great. If you find somebody or if I find someone who has questions or someone writes to me and I'm not able to answer, I'd rather actually give your contact. So if you don't mind, if somebody has a question um, or just wants to come see the houses for themselves, how should they get in touch with you? Okay, you can call me or WhatsApp me on 0790-469-990 or you could email me on sales at daliagardens.co.ke. Thank yes. you so much, Jaja. You're welcome. Um, if you have any questions, by the way, please put them on my comment section. If you have any um, interesting things that you want me to be aware about, do that as well. And I'm sure Jaja will be available to answer any questions that you may have. God bless you guys and stay well. Subscribe if you haven't. You are watching All Access.